We still have few more things to talk about regarding the conditional statement. So we have talked about if, else, but we still have one more. So we have if, we have elif, and we have else. So let's say that we have multiple explicit conditions. We can put them in if, elif, and then we have a default case without condition when none of these is satisfied, then we would be jumping to the default state, which is the else. So let's say that you have a remote controlled car. So this is the car, it's a toy car. You have boat from somewhere and it has a wire. Remember those old wire cars where they have two buttons with a remote control this is button one this is button two this is forward and this is backward okay so how would we program this car to go forward or backward using if else so we have two buttons forward and backward if we press forward it will go forward now if we press backward meaning we will be utilizing this elif if we press backward we would go backward now what do i mean by go forward or backward we would turn on the motor in a forward motion or we would turn on the motor in a backward motion okay so the motor if this is a motor it could be rotating this way or it could be rotating this way if i press this i want to rotate it forward like that if i press the backward i want to rotate it like that now here comes the else if i am not pressing anything i don't want to rotate the motor at all so i want to turn it off okay this is one use case let us go and program this small car we have two buttons, so I'm going to say here, forward button is, let's say, equal to true, meaning it's pressed. And let's say that my backward button is not pressed, so it's false. Now, let me encode the rotation of my motor so let me write a comment a comment is nothing but something that only humans can read and it won't be compiled it won't be executed by your python compiler or interpreter in our case so i'm gonna say here that zero means no rotation for my motor another comment one means clockwise rotation and two means anti-clockwise rotation. Okay. And let me explicitly say that this means forward and this means backward. All right. So right now I'm going to say motor status. Like I want to know what is it equals initially to zero. All right. So we have a turned off motor. The button is pressed and the forward button is pressed and the backward button is not pressed so let us start writing our conditions we're going to say if forward button is equal to true then what do i want to do i want to set my motor status to forward right so motor status is going to equal to one now I would say elif, see this is the second condition, if my backward button is equal to true, what do I want to do? I would like also to turn the motor status bot to number 2, right? Because 2 means anti-clockwise, meaning go backward. Now my default state, let's say if not pressing forward, not pressing backward, then this will be an else motor status would equal to zero okay 
Now let's print also the status of the motor. I would say here print car is moving forward. Here we would say car is moving backward. And finally we would say here car is not moving. Okay. So let us run this as you can see it's saying car is moving forward because we are pressing this button now let us press this button instead this will be true this will be false we see that car is moving backward that is correct now let's say that both of them are false meaning we are not pressing any buttons car is not moving now let's go to a corner case where we have both of the buttons are pressed and we are getting car is moving forward. Why is that? Because the first condition is satisfied. Remember, Python executes everything line by line. So the first condition is, is forward button pressed? Yes. So it's pressed. So it won't be looking at any of those anymore because only one of these will be executed whoever has the condition satisfied first so in our case forward button is pressed actually yes so we will be moving forward we did not really check the back the backward button because well this is the first one this is the winner between the if statements